What is up guys, it's Jay here, J Media One, and we are back with another product tech review. Today's a good day because we got the Novo. This is a USB-C docking station dual monitor, HDMI for Dell HP laptop docking station, basically. It's got USB-C USB Type-C hub multi-port adapter. This has Thunderbolt 3 dongle, USB-C to 2, HDMI Ethernet, which is a super cool part about it, VGA, four USBs, PD, SD, and TF. This is an advanced chip. It's got USB-C docking station, which expands your work opportunities and supports three different types of monitors. And you can provide more stable performance with this. There's no need for any drivers or software. You just plug it in and play. So we're gonna take a look at this, guys. So here it is. It just comes in this box, just like this. It's kind of nice packaging. Just this orange box, we really like the orange color to it. It looks really good. And so it tells you that it's an aluminum multi-port hub. It supports lots of things, up to 480 megabits of data transmission for USB-C or USB 2.0. And then it's got five gigabytes of data transmission speeds for up to USB-C 3.0. It's also got the VGA resolution, 1920 by 1080 at 60 Hertz, which is great. And it supports 10 by 100 or 1,000 megabits per second Ethernet, up to 100 watt power delivery, and it supports USB 2.0 data. CTIA standard 3.5 millimeter stereo audio mic function as well. This thing is just packed to the bone. It's got everything that you could possibly need for a port hub, so we're going to give it a look. We just get into the box here, super simple. There's just one tab holding it down here and one over here. So we're gonna pop those guys open. We slide it out here and we see that there's a little bit of read material there. Basically a booklet of how to hook everything up, user manual, whatnots. So inside we have the hub. And this is the cool part because this hub is super, super nice looking. And it does have a little hole here, which is cool. And then it's got our ports. So we can see USB 3.0, 3.0. These are 2.0 on this side. And then we got the, the TF slot, which is the micro uh, SD slot here. We also have an SD card slot, which is super nice. A headphone jack, fantastic. Another USB-C. Then we got HDMI and HDMI 2. So we have two HDMI ports as well. This thing is just packed and loaded, so we're going to get it hooked up to the laptop. But also on this side, we got to talk about the uh, the VGA port because there is a VGA output, which is just generally nice if you have an old monitor or even a newer monitor. You know, it doesn't really matter if you're not looking for super graphic enhancement here. You got the VGA as well, so this thing will support three monitors because you can do two HDMI's and then a VGA, and then we got our LAN output, which you don't see this a lot anymore, but it does have that Ethernet port on there as well. This thing's pretty much your total multi-port adapter. It'll do everything that you could possibly think of or everything that you need it to do. And that's what we were looking for. All right, guys, we are here and we got the MacBook Air. The MacBook Air is a great example and, we're, and the reason why, right? Because MacBook Pro does have those extended ports. They added those with the M1, but the MacBook Air is slim and super light and this thing's awesome to carry. I love bringing this around with me. But it's only got two USB-C ports here, right? So we need something like this guy because of this. However, this is gonna be our all around port. We aren't gonna need any other ports because this will do everything that we can possibly think of. I mean, you got the USB, the USB 2.0, the ethernet, the VGA, <laughs> two monitor outputs. We got our SD, our TF hand, our headphone jack. What else could you want? Now the, the MacBook Air does have a headphone jack output but it's just cool that this one does have it because there might be some PCs out there um, still on the market today with maybe one output here or they don't have the headphone output. So it's just nice to have. So we're just gonna open this up and get it fired up. So we have our MacBook Air here, as you can see. Everything looks great. And we're just going to plug in our USB-C to the side of this guy, right like that. When we plug it in, we can see that there's this little green light that comes on here, which is cool. And there is a little film protective cover over this. This just has a really cool look at it, but it tells us, hey, this thing's active and it's ready to go. And then at this point, we could plug in our 
our hard drive. So we brought some different plugs for you guys to take a look. So we have this. This is our hard drive with our USB-C output. So we have that guy. And I told you guys about the sand disk. If you guys haven't got one of these yet, check out JMD1. We got them on there. Two terabytes, super slim, super easy, super cool. But we also brought a mouse because what else would you want to use with a with a MacBook Air, right? You'd want to use your mouse. So we have the mouse. We could just pop this in. We don't need a 3.0 for this. We could just use the 2.0 there and it starts to work immediately. This thing's mega fast and responsive time. It picked it up right away. So then we want to plug in our hard drive. We can go over here and plug in our USB-C output. And we have our USB-C plugged in. Now our hard drive's gonna pop up. So we got everything that we could possibly need off of this, guys. I mean, this thing is just mega, mega cool. And yeah, we could just take our USB-C in this case and plug it right in here to USB-C. But we have so many different peripherals and ports and adapters and things just to make this thing like a, a, our go-to all around port hub because it does have 12 ports and 12 ports is just awesome. It sports extended mode or mirror mode, HDMI 3840 by 2160 at 30 hertz. VGA is 1920 by 1080 at 60 hertz. An ideal gadget for video editing, photography, programmers, Supports both SST and MST mode. Please note that if you use it on an Apple Mac OS system, it only supports mirror mode without triple display. It is strong compatibility. It does have some strong compatibility, however. Dual monitor laptop docking stations compatible with all Thunderbolt 3 devices. The HP Spectre times 2 the HP Spectre times 360 the Elite, the Elite Folio, the ZBook, uh, ProBook, the Lenovo Yoga, Micros, Surface Book, Surface Go, Surface Laptops, Dell Latitude, pretty much everything that has USB-C output, you're going to find uh, mega support for this. It's got fast data speed, the laptop dock equipped with two times USB 3.0 ports up to five gigabits per second, connects smartphones, tablets, hard drives for effortless data transfer with USB-C port, and provide two USB-C 2.0. Uh, speeds up to 480 megabits per second. It allows you to connect a keyboard or mouse without any lag. As you can see there, it was instantaneous. The SDTF card reader is mega cool on this as well. So you might say, well, what's so cool about the SDTF card reader, right? Because this thing's got speeds up to 104 megabits per second, which is super fast and good for an SDTF card reader. So if you have something like this, I usually buy these, these micro SD cards like this. And then the micro SD card always comes with an SD card adapter, which is cool, but not being able to, or not having to adapt, it's really nice. So you can stick this guy straight into your TF card slot here. Now I just gotta figure out the orientation. You stick it right into the TF card slot there and you can see immediately it pops up here and it's instantaneous. Right there, I got my TF slot. I can drag this photo over to it if I like. And it copied it about a half a second. This is a big movie. If I drag this big movie over to it, um, it's already copied over there. So that's really, really cool. So you get good data transfer speeds out of these guys. You also have that slot for your SD card. So boom, you want to pop an SD card, you can have one of those too. You can also have two HDMIs. You can also have a headphone jack and an ethernet output and a VGA output. So, I mean, those are just extras for me. I don't really use a whole lot of external monitors, but if you're the type of person that does, you're gonna be in great shape with this thing. The Thunderbolt 3 devices to access files from SDTF card reader, quickly view your photos or videos. It's perfect for any photographer, designer, or video editor, because this thing is the only thing you gotta bring with you. I'm used to having a bag full of stuff, right? Full of cables and cords and things like that to adapt to my Mac and you don't really have to worry about that too much. Gigabit Ethernet and audio jack. It's got that super cool function, which is great. USB-C to gigabit Ethernet adapter. So you still have pretty fast speeds with your Ethernet adapter. Like I said, that's the biggest thing you don't get with a lot of these is that Ethernet adapter. You do on this. It's got that stable wired connection, which makes your work more effective. You get speeds up to 1,000 megabytes per second, and it's plug and play. There's no need to install any driver or software. The 3.5 millimeter audio port with mic and audio out functions provides 100 watt power delivery for your USB-C laptops. 
It's got wide use and it's certified safe. It's got 12 ports. Remember, 12 ports in this guy. USB-C hub compatible with the latest laptops, tablets, and smartphones with the USB-C port. The multi-port adapter has FCC, CE, and ROHS certified backup with a 12-month 100% satisfaction guarantee. If you guys do not like this device, you're welcome to send it back. They're going to back it up, support it, take care of you. You don't have anything to worry about as far as that goes. It's just got a really nice design, and I really that's the biggest thing. It's got a great design. It's They thought of everything. You can take this out, put it in a USB uh, 3.0 if you like. It's going to move. Every port on here is going to work, and it's going to work efficiently and really, really fast. So we really, really recommend this, guys. If you guys are looking for a multi-port hub that you can just kind of take with you everywhere and not have to worry. So if I, you know, if I just need one device, basically one device in order to plug in all of my ports, I'm going to be using this because it's got everything I need. And that's the biggest thing. If you see, I have one over here. This is how they normally come, right? So I got a USB-A, HDMI, and a USB-C. That's it. That ain't enough, especially if you're doing video editing or photography. You're definitely going to need this SD card for your camera. You're going to need the micro slot. You're going to need, you might not use the HDMI slots, but it's nice to have them. It's nice to have that functionality. You, there is studies that say that you are a lot more functional and you have a lot more multitasking capabilities if you're using multiple monitors. So this is just a cool function. And like I said, not many have the VGA output with all this stuff attached too. So you do have that function and the ethernet out. And it's just got that cool screen with a really nice design on it. So uh, we've, we've already done our injection so we can pull this out. This thing is about this big. So it's about as big as my hand. It has this nice flexible cable here, the super heavy. It's got this little gold tip, which looks kind of cool. You just tuck it away like that, shove it inside of your bag. If you have a bag here, it'll fit in a bag slot like that. Super, super small and compatible. And you're ready to go. So we can just toss this thing in our bag and we don't have to worry. So that little slot there holds it. And we are free to go and we are free to have everything that we can possibly need in order to uh, hook up to our Mac. And I think it's very cool. It's slim and compact, and for the price, this thing is well worth it, guys. So make sure you take a look at this. There to be a link in the, in the description, of course, so you guys can purchase your very own. If you guys like this video, make sure to mash the like button. Also, subscribe to the channel, because we're releasing new videos all the time, and we will see you guys in the next one. Later, guys.